Hey guys, welcome back to Top Tip for Betting Tips. I trust you're having a fantastic evening and you're getting ready for the long weekend that's going to be taking place in South Africa. Um, we're going to have the postman tipping out at Turfentain. So I hope you enjoy your racing out there. And I'm going to hand you over to the postman for his analysis. Good evening, good afternoon, or good morning, no matter where in the world you guys are. And again, a great big warm welcome to the Top Tipper family. Racing comes to us on Thursday, the 27th of April. And if you're in South Africa, you will have a nice holiday. And we're from Turfentain and we're on the inner track. Before we go into our selections, we had a very, very nice uh, day on Tuesday. Um, best bet arrived like a good thing should. Value bet ran second. Um, I think still paid two rand 20 on the tote. And one of the guys turned around and said, oh, we only got our money back. Well, if you only got your money back, then you are playing place bets incorrectly. I'll go over quickly again. If you're taking a place bet like that, 10 units to win, 20 units to place. Outlay, 30 units. The horse runs a place, pays two rand odd a place. You're still going to make 10 or 12 units per bet. Nothing wrong with that. Um, so please, please just bear that in mind. However, the exotics have been really, really tough. Um, and when we go through the card, guys, for Thursday, I do not like the card. I think it's a tough card, um, competitive um, racing, one or two races that I think the horses are really, really weak, with all due respect to everyone. Um, please, please, please be careful. Um, in our exotics, I've really loaded up. And I'm taking smaller percentages and hoping to double up. So, guys, let us go through eight, race, eight races carded for Turfentain Inner. First race, two off at 12.40. A juvenile plate for the babies um, and for the girls over 1,600 meters. At this stage in time, horse three, an explosive bond has been scrapped, leaving us a field of seven. In this event, guys, I think it's a match race. Um, and my narrow first section here is horse number eight, Spring in Heaven. Craig Zaki for Mike de Kock. Uh, fair effort last time out behind Petula. Was running on on that occasion. The time before that, again, um, drawn in the sticks, 12 out of 12, finished fourth behind Soldier's Eye. Um, is getting weight from Soldier's Eye. Was running on really, really well. And I'm pretty sure that Spring in Heaven will reverse the form on horse one, Soldier's Eye. So that is my first selection. For second, I've gone for horse number five. And this is key element for the Sunday and Tolly for the Pauli Matchet. Already, guys, um, there's been a ton of support for this one. I think from eight to one to round about fours. Um, has had one run. Um, was running on really, really well, which would indicate that the 1600 would suit. Um, I'm certainly not going to jump on a baby race, but I certainly think this one will finish second. And in the by part, I think um, only two horses in this event will get us through. So for second, I've gone for five. For third, if you're taking trifectas and quartets, I've gone for horse number two, and this is Courageous. Gavin Arena for Candace Dawson. Um, I think this is good enough for back end of trifectas and quartets. Is drawn one. Um, decent effort last time out in a uh, feature race. And I think if getting the distance, certainly, certainly can fill in one of the minor spots. And then for fourth ground, for the obvious one, that is horse one, soldier's eye. So race one, eight, five, two, and one. Move on to the second race on the card. <clears throat> this is due off at 13.15. A maiden plate for the girls over 1,600 meters. And is the first leg of our place accumulator. This, for me, is such a weak race. It is absolutely frightening. We have a first timer here, horse number eight. Uh, talk to my lawyer. Drawn nicely at one. Um, I really think this is a weak event. Um, personally, I think this is a field race. Um, speaking to some of the guys from Top Tipper, some of them quite fancy the two, some quite fancy the three, and I said to them, no, 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 I can't have anything here. Really, really uh, weak race. And 
My narrow first action, I'm going for the four. This is unyielding, king in the middle for Mike the cock. Um, again, fair effort in a work riders. I'm sure under the strong urgings of Keegan will give a decent account of itself and my narrow first selection. For second, I have gone for one, and this is Countess Danza, Chase Marjan for the Yonker Yard. I'm putting a line through the last effort, um, but uh, three lengths to uh, Namaka Blossom, um, just over half a length to Color Past. Again, in this field, maybe good enough to fill in one of the minor spots. Big negative here, drawn eight out of eight. I have gone for horse two, um, Ida Bell <coughs> for third, Caden Brewer for the lead yard. Um, last time out, we go and look, and the form looks all right. Third, um, four and a half lengths to Rado. But again, guys, it was a small field. The horse was 50 to one. Um, I don't know how strong that is. You know, that is why I'm certainly not going to take a chance and bank her here. In our exotics, I've put in four horses, um, and I'm hoping to double up. If not, I hope one arrives with two really, really rough, uh, big roughies and we can go through um, with very, very minimum tickets. For fourth, I have gone for the favorite. This is horse number three, Miss Christmas. Again, Craig Zaki for Lucky Hood Alarcus. Um, last time out in the work, Riders was handy, was running on. Not a strong field, um, but maybe good enough to fill in one of the minor spots. As I said, don't like the race. We've discussed it. I've got so many, many uh, people telling me different things. And we've gone four, one, two, and three, putting the whole lot in the buy pot and the place accumulator. Third race on the card. It's your fit 1350, maiden plate over 1200 meters for the girls. First leg of the pick six. And in this event, we find the first of my value bets. I have two value bets for the day. I haven't got a best bet. And in this event, my first selection, horse number four, as you call, Caden Bruin for the mowing yard. Um, currently around about six to one. I really think this is good value, decent each way bet. The last two runs we go and look was drawn on the freeway on both occasions. Um, nicely drawn at two. I think that as you car will really give a decent account of itself. And I cannot see this one running out of the top two. For second, I've gone for the five, Chili Marmalade, Gavin Arena for Stephen Moffat. Um, when Gav jumps aboard for this yard, we have to take notice of this. And I'm looking for an improved effort from Chili Marmalade. If I'm looking for a negative, this one is drawn really wide. But again, if Gavin's a little patient, um, this one may be running on when others have cried enough. For third, I've gone for the two. This is damned if I do. Muzieni for Roy Magna. Um, I must see Gavin's got off that one. That did let the side down last time out um, at 14 to 10. Um, I'm sure that Gavin would have had a field. He would have known which is the right one. Um, that's why I've gone for Chili Marmalade to run second and damned if I do to run third. For fourth, gone for another Ruffy here. This is horse seven, Elusive Fire. Donald Geertsen will be claiming his two and a half. I'm putting a line through the Work Riders uh, event last time out. Donald has ridden it uh, twice before that, finishing third and fourth. And again, I think that at long odds, this one may be good enough to fill in back end of trifectas and quartets. If you are taking um, pick sixes, guys, um, you know, we've got to go and look at the six United Ransom, stable jock, and the Suarez gets aboard here for Tony Peter. When we look at form, the one go ship looks more of the obvious choice. So maybe larger perms throw in six. We've gone four, five, two, and seven. Um, and I really think that four is nice each way value. Move on to the fourth race on the card, guys. First leg of jackpot one. This is due off at 14.25. A merit rate of 96 handicap over 1,200 meters. At this stage in time, guys, horse two. I think Icky Guy has been scratched. Just confirm that, please, before taking bets. I do think this is a match race. Um... 
And my narrow foot selection here is horse number four, the Vegas High Rise, Samanga Kamala for Fabian Habib. Um, we go and look, this has got some really, really decent form. Again, I think under the hands of Samanga Kamala, I think this will jump. I think this will be up there, nicely drawn at four. And I think this one will give a decent account of itself. For second, I've gone for horse number six, and this is Kian the uh, Conqueror. Um, Marker for Rensburg for the Spiciard. Very unlucky last time out. Um, caught late. I think reverting back to the 1200 meters will suit this one. This is an up and coming uh, three year old, and I really think that this one will give a good account of itself. If I have um, any concerns, my concern with this one is often this one is slow. Um, if slow, will be running on late will it get to vegas high rise i honestly don't know um if there was no chance of this one um jumping slow i would probably take a chance and bank of this um in everything but due to the fact that the last two occasions has been slow i'm not prepared to take a chance i'd rather take a smaller percentage for third, gone for Nas Raffia. This is the three, Dance Till Daylight, Gavlerina for the Van Furen Yard. Um, three runs back, second to Texas Red, one and a half lengths behind um, the winner prior to that. That's in Cape Town, three runs in Transvaal. Um, not bad efforts. I do think the 1500 meter last time out was too far i think reverting back to the sprinting i think that this one again at mass odds can certainly make our trifectas and swingers pay for fourth the Florian horse number seven foster nova uh, king in the middle for the fun furin yard um, second run after layoff mass handy galloping mass is drawn wide i do think foster nova's um primed for another event but good enough for back end of trifectas and quartets as i said in the fourth race i think it's a match race between four and six um i'm only going to put the two horses in uh, the place accumulator um i have thrown in horse three in the bipod smaller punters take the three out and leave four and six larger players get a smaller percentage um and include the three if that runs second or first it will certainly boost the payout for the bipod so as i said four six three and seven we move on to the fifth race on the card and the fifth race is the first leg of jackpot two and in this event we find the second of my value bets Let's just go through the fifth race. It's due off at 1505,000 meters, mid rate of 74 handicap. And <clears throat> please take note horse number eight, What a Tiger. There is a jockey change. Fabian Habib has put um, Apprentice Acebo aboard. He will be claiming, I think, only, I don't know if it's one and a half or two kilos. Um, he did ride this one two runs back, where might finish third. Um, to Captain Dizzy and again around about 14 to 1 wow I think there's great each way value and is my narrow first selection for second I've gone for another Rafi yeah this is number nine this is Dark Tide I'm going to say like a jetty for the Broncos yard um, also nice handy galloping mass of 52 um, Apprentice Kajedi rode this one last out last time out a uh, very very good effort just over a length behind Western Wishes. And again, I think this one will be there and thereabouts. Nice swinger, nice exacta, eight and nine. For third, we've gone for the obvious choice here. I think this is horse number three, Cosmic Star, Gavlerina for the Van Furen Yard. Did win a maiden easy uh, last amount. Um, again, Fort Lauderdale, I don't think is going to Hollywood, but Cosmic Star, all it could do was win and have selected that to run third. A negative drawn wide at eight for fourth gone for horse number five covert operator uh, craig zaki for the fun furin yard again nicely drawn at two and i do think that covert operator will be running on when others have tried enough and for me good enough for back end of trifectas and quartets so i've gone eight nine three and five 
Um, if you're taking jackpots, I certainly would throw all of them in. Race six, guys. Do off at 14.35. This is a mid-rated 90 handicap over 1,450 meters. And in this event, my first selection here is horse number two, Princess Philippa. Diego de Gaveo gets you right here. Um, and I really think that this one will give a very, very good account of itself. Um, I know Wakanda did beat this one, um, but there is a weight turnaround. And I think Princess Philippa will go really, really close. For second, I have gone for the one Wakanda. Um, big negative, drawn nine, carrying top weight of 61. However, Wakanda seems to run really, really well at the course. So it must be included in all exotics. For third, gone for nuts. Uh, Ruffia, I think. This is a six, Perry Falcon for La Sande Tolly for the pedigree yard. Stewie's been going really, really well. This one's coming back from an 11-week layoff. Um, one under their hands last time out with Felisande aboard. And again, good enough to run in a drum here. For fourth, we've thrown in horse number four, Ever on Toast. Um, won really, really well last time out. That form was not franked. But again, in quite a tough race, I probably would throw this one in. Um, if we're looking to add something in, like as I said, I think it's a quite a tough event. Maybe look at the seven simple simple. Um, King in the Meadow, nicely drawn at one. Mike to cock, nice hallop, a handy galloping mass of 53 and a half. We go and look, coming back from a 22-week uh, layoff. However, we do know how Mike can get these ones cherry ripe. And larger perms, I certainly will be throwing that in. So race six, two, one, six, four. Larger perms, throw in the seven as well. Seventh race on the card. Off at 1605 pinnacle stakes over 1450 meters. Please take note at this stage in time, I was told that horse 11 Captain Pig has been scratched. Please take note of that. And again, guys, we've got a runner from PE. I know it's drawn wide, but I don't think Gavin Smith is going to bring this one to Gauteng to have a look at the weather and um, watch it go down. Um, larger perms, maybe throw this one in. You know, I'm not saying it will it will win, but again, as I said, Gavin's not going to bring this one down to have a look at the weather. In the seventh race, my first selection, and I do think it's a match uh, match race. My narrow first selection would be horse number eight, Van der Belt, Dennis Suarez for Paulie uh, for Tony Peter. Um, I think it's better than this last effort. I think this will jump. I think it will be up there. Um, drawn five, carrying 56 on his back. Um, I think this one will play catch me if you can. And I think we'll go very close. For second, I've gone for a nice Rafia, horse number three, Team Gold. Muzieni for Roy Magna. Last time out, this and again drawn uh, in the bush, was running on. And I'm looking for a decent effort from uh, Team Gold. For third, gone for 10. This is Willow Express, among the Kamala for the Terry Yard. Um, two fair efforts, finishing two and a half and three and three quarter lengths off them in the last two um, races. This one loves the distance and again, good enough for backing of trifectas and quartets. For fourth, I'm looking for an improved effort from horse 13. This is Homely Girl, kicking the middle for the Van Furen Yard. Um, big negative for this one is drawn wide as well, but I certainly think that. Um, this one may finish in the money at long odds. Um, I think this is a race to take um, trifectas and quartets. I certainly think if you catch it, you'll uh, be smiling all the way to the bank. And as I said, throw 13 to run fourth. So race 7, 8, 3, 10 and 13. We'll move on to the lucky last. Um, again, another competitive event. This is a classified stakes due off at 1635 over 1600 meters. And in this event, my first selection here is horse seven. This is Tinder Dry. It's an under Kamala for the Broncos yard. I think currently around about six or seven to one. Nasty drawn at three. Did have excuses last time out, was not disgraced. And again, I think will give a very good account of itself. 
for second. I have gone for horse number four, Napoleon. Dennis Suarez again for the Tony Peter Yard. You can never leave them out. And I've thrown this one to run second. For third, I've gone for the eight, Quasi's Lady. And this is Caden Brewer for the Laird Yard. I'm putting a line through the last run. I don't think this one was given the best of rides. Um, nobody wants to run their apprentice down. But if you watch a rerun of that, you would say to yourself, this has to improve this time out. And again, round about six or seven to one. Throw this one in swingers, um, exactors, trifectors. You can certainly make it pay a bit. For fourth, we've gone for the three, Macabisi. Chase Mazan for the Spice Yard. Spice has got two fair horses on the day. I'm nicely drawn at two. And I'm certainly hoping that this one arrives. I think Chase is riding our horse on Monday. And I'm sure that... Um, Stephen or the kid will certainly let you know um, how that one is doing. So in race eight, we've gone seven, four, eight, and three. Guys, as I said, I think it's a really, really tough card. Um, I'm going to take everything that we've got. I'm going to take a small percentage and hopefully try and double up. I honestly find it difficult to find a banker. Please, guys, look for jockey changes. Look for scratchings and see if there's any betting moves. Take it easy, look after yourselves, break a leg, and let's see if we can crack it big. So back to you, Stevie, in the studio. Thanks for that, the postman. I see you've tipped the eight race program, your bar pot, your PA, your jackpot one, jackpot two, and I see you've got two value bets. It's some fantastic value for the punters. Race three, number four, Azucar, six to one. And race five, number eight, what a tiger at 14 to 1. So that's some fantastic value right there. Please, Lord, let the postman deliver. All in all, enjoy your weekend. Have fun. Break a leg. And cheers for now.